Hi everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm sorry it's been so long since I posted a video, but I was updating my streaming uh, rig and also getting things set up. I'm not sure if you noticed, but a few things are zoomed in. I'm hoping it'll be useful to allow people to watch more on mobile. If you have any comments or feedback on the layout, please let me know. I'd love to continue to improve it. Uh, also have good news, which is I am scheduled to get my COVID shot in the next week. I'm really excited about that. So uh, let's jump into this game. This is a game from the 2016 tournament, and this was round two. And I believe this is the fastest victory in a competitive game that exists. And I honestly wouldn't believe it unless it happened to me. So here we go. So this is the first round of the game. You can see these rolls, fairly standard roll, and I moved the move the action dice um, up top, so hopefully that's easy to see. All right, so we start things off pretty normally. I have um, if you're fire foes, dead men of Dunharrow, and um, I start off passing. He musters Isengard to war. That's pretty standard stuff. He goes ahead and draws a strategy card. Uh, I move the fellowship, and he misses. Pretty normal, and. Then he goes ahead and starts moving out some armies. I muster the elves and uh, hmm, where should I go? Okay, I go ahead and get the, the elves one away from more. And because he doesn't have um, another muster and Sauron is still um, one away from more, I go ahead and muster the elves all the way to war myself. I had three musters. Um, you know, there are a few other options there, but. I think I think that makes sense so early on. I can he's clearly about to attack Lorien, so I can muster up in Lorien and defend that well. Alright, so he gathers in uh, outside and um off we go. So next round, um, you know, fairly fairly normal cards here. He allocates an eye, we roll, and um again I get some you know, these are all these are all pretty normal rules here. I go ahead and start mustering up the elves because I can see that he's about to be able to attack me. He musters Sauron to war. I get um, a regular. I maybe it makes sense to get an elite in there. Um, I didn't want to overcommit to Lorien, so um, I get a regular there and a regular in Woodland Realm. I feel like that's that's a reasonably likely target. And he goes ahead and, and puts Lorien under siege anyway. I'm thinking, okay, he probably has Balrog or something like that. Um, you know, this is a pretty sizable army. Maybe I should have just put Elite in there if he's going to attack anyway. This, I feel like I should be able to hold it, but but maybe not. Okay, so um, I play King Brandsman. I cycle some cards. Why not? Um, he attacks, uh, or he plays Ringwraiths are abroad. Mo and this is interesting. So I'm not exactly sure why he puts Lorien under siege, but then gives up on the attack once he had all those army, all those Nazgul there. I mean, my inclination would be to at least try and try and attack it a bit. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. He does have um, Ulig High and also Hill Trolls. So with those upgrades, it feels like he might be able to, he might be able to take it. And I don't know that I would use um, Ring Wraiths or Abroad at this point. Um, just because it gives you some flexibility later. In replaying this, I, I forgot that he played Ring Wraiths or Abroad right there. I'm not sure that that makes the most sense. And if I were going to play it, I would probably play it to bring more units to Lorien and give it a try. Okay, either way, he starts moving along, uh, moving arm armies along, and then um, draws a character card at this point. So he's, you know, having a fairly balanced strategy. And I'm moving slowly at this point. I move and um, he misses. And then he goes ahead and continues these armies north. So all of this, I think, is like totally, totally standard, normal stuff at this point. All right. And now here is here is a crazy rule. So he he um, allocates um, one eye, right, and. Oh, you know, upon reflection here, it seems like he could have gotten 
he could have gotten Saruman. Am I, did I just miss all of that? So he could have gotten Saruman earlier. I'm not sure why he's still rolling seven dice. Seems like he should have Saruman by now. All right. So that's one thing I should have called that out earlier, but here's the, here's the crazy roll. And I don't know if you can see it, but he literally rolled P E E P E E. I mean, the chances of that are low. I think it was something like that particular order. So it comes out P E E P E E is I think one out of like 46,000 or something like that. I calculated it. Um, so that's impressive an impressively bad roll. He has five eyes and two palantirs. And then I roll, um, character, character, army muster and, uh, muster. And you can perhaps anticipate where these are going. So, um, I go ahead and move armies and I think, you know, probably he has some way of moving armies or some way of mustering into these strongholds. Um, but if he doesn't, I can make it. So um, I go ahead and move uh, one army there. And then he, I think, you know, he could have drawn one card, one, one strategy card here, and maybe he gets Pits of Mordor or something like that. Um, I go ahead and move again, and then I use... Um, I use a ring to move in to these two strongholds. So that was a turn three free people's military victory. And there are a few, a few things. I mean, he got just a ridiculously unlucky roll. Um, but there were a few things he actually had in his power. If he still had ring wraiths or abroad, he could have brought a ring wraith to North Dunland and moved them into Moria to defend against it that way. He could have drawn a strategy card to potentially try and um, get the muster, though at that point that was pretty late, and he could have gotten Saruman into play sooner and had an extra die this turn. So truly a crazy, crazy game. I can't, I can't really believe it, um, but that happened. 2016 tournament, round two. I look here, I'll show you the statistics, though uh, obviously these are... Um, you know, not, not a lot happened. Um, I forgot literally, literally zero combat dice rolled. It looks like there were zero combat dice rolled <laughs> in the entire game. All right. If you have any suggestions for other games that you want me to check out, uh, please send me an email or a uh, comment in the video. I would love to do it. And, uh, let me know what you think of this new layout. Uh, I look forward to sharing some more videos with you soon. Thanks.